So we're out here on the range this afternoon having a little fun with a Smith & Wesson Model 617, a 22 long rifle. Not only is this particular firearm a lot of fun to shoot, it also offers some good practice ability when we move up to some of the larger frames. And what I mean by practice, the operation controls on the smaller frames, the K frames, the L frames, are going to be the same that you're going to encounter the in the X frame. Not only is the weight of the gun not too much of a disparity, but the trigger pull is going to be the same, the heft in your feel, in your hand, the balance, all that's going to help you get a firmer grip and be able to control the larger calibers better. So everything that we practice with the 22, a grip, high up on the back strap, control of the gun, overlapping our fingers, and keeping everything backed away from that barrel cylinder gap is something that we definitely have to keep in mind, not only on the 22, but on the bigger Magnum revolvers. Now, a lot of times we're at the range and we might be shooting with, say, a 44 Magnum or the Smith & Wesson 500, and after a little while, we kind of get to that point of diminishing return. Our groups start opening up, our fundamentals are lacking, so that's when I always like to bring a 22 along. So after I've shot, say, a 44 for maybe a couple cylinders, I've got it pretty well dialed in, but now I notice my groups are starting to open up. I can go back to the 22, give my hand a rest, my brain a rest, really, kind of refocus back on those basics, start shooting a good group, and then transition back to the 44. So a good little tip. Not only is this a great gun to hunt around with, but it's a great gun for practical training purposes.